The Bible says, We know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love Him. In other words, God has these habits of turning things around, turning the painful things, the things meant to harm you. He has these habits of turning them around for your good. So whether tomorrow holds great promise or great disappointment, my life is in God's hand. I may face difficult times, but I have hope and faith in the one above. When your heart broken at the death of loved one, it's so easy to be overcome with negativity, to be pressed down inside of this world. Because the truth of that loved one not being there anymore just hits your heart, and everything just feel darker and heavier and sadder. God is with us through hard times. In Isaiah 41 verses 10 says, God strengthens you, so do not fear for I am with you. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. God has promised us his strength. He will never give you a trial you are unable to handle. As a children of God, we can call upon His power at any time. Dear God, thank you for giving me my Father and for all that He has meant to me throughout my life. As I think back over all the things that He taught me, and for the many lessons in life that I have learned from Him. It rejoices my heart, and yet, Lord, I know that I am going to miss Him so much. Papa, we'll always remember that special smile, that caring heart, that warm embrace you always gave us. You're being there for Mama and us through good and bad times. No matter what, we'll always remember you, Papa, because there'll never be another one to replace you in our hearts and the love we will always have for you. There is an indescribable amount of grief after losing a father. Often mean losing a protector, a guiding hand, best friend, and a superhero. But focusing on all incredible memories you shared, and the amazing man he was can help bring light into your darker days. Good 
losing someone important in your life or having a really a time of a loss as you become a living memorial to the people that you have lost. I really like that idea that we continue to breathe and walk this earth as memorials to the people we have loved and we no longer have in our lives and through that we keep them alive. I love that way of looking at it. A time of grief after losing someone will always be a transformative. While you cannot physically bring back those people in your life, but you can share their story.